Well, hello, welcome to the video on applied mechanics. I'm Tilak. This is the first video for applied mechanics. So, in applied mechanics, we are going to talk about the force, the effect of force on the body, basically. So, these videos are going to be based on the curriculum or course structure defined by Trivon University. So, these videos are specially targeted for bachelors in engineering for semester under Trivon University Institute of Engineering. Now, if you're not at Trivon University or any other university and if the course matches or I suggest you check the syllabus first, then go for those videos. Or if you're just searching for applied mechanics and, and you're and you want some knowledge on applied mechanics then maybe these videos are going to help you or maybe not I'm not sure about it so make sure you do a good amount of research on on if you need to watch these videos or not and if you are studying bachelors in engineering uh, under Trivon University in any colleges affiliated by Trivon University these videos are going to help you obviously so let's start with applied mechanics so let's define mechanics mechanics is the study of body at a rest or motion under the influence of force so this is simply mechanics as suggested by our curriculum we are going to talk about Newtonian mechanics and under Newtonian mechanics we are going to talk about mechanics of rigid bodies under mechanics of rigid bodies we are going to talk about statics and dynamics now again under dynamics we are going to talk about kinetics and kinematics now I'm gonna define all of them so we define mechanics mechanics is the study of a body on which is at rest or motion under the influence of force now let's define rigid bodies. A rigid body is a that body which does not change its size, shape anything under the influence of any kind of force statics is the study of body whenever we talk about now statics is the study of body which is at rest and dynamics is the study of body as at motion now kinetics is a study of body at motion where we consider consider the force causing body to move and in kinematics we do not consider forces we just talk about the effect now example of kinematics would be in the the study of, of motion of a body uh, like acceleration uh, the velocity and these kind of effects due to force and that is the kinematics there are a few more definitions or there are a few more terms you just need to be introduced to uh, for 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 the sake of exams you're going to attend if you're at Trivon University. The first one is the, the deformable body. A body which goes under the chains, under the chains of, of shape and size is simply a deformable body. A stone, brick, any kind of bodies which change its shape and size are deformable bodies. Fluid bodies are those bodies which flow, simply the fluid, the liquid bodies. And there are two kinds of fluids. Uh, the first one is incompressible. Now, these uh, fl uh, fl this kind of fluid does not go, go under compression. So, practically, these fluids do not exist. And another one is compressible. These fluids can be compressed under the action of force. So, they exist everywhere. You can just get a lot of these kind of fluids. Now, in reality or in practical life, there there is nothing like a rigid body. There is no body that that doesn't go under deformation under the action of force. It's just a matter of force. It's it's all about how much amount of force you're putting. But we in in this mechanics we are going to talk about the bodies which do not go under deformation under the considerable amount of force. So remember rigid bodies do not exist we are all about deformable bodies even our earth or the hardest matter um, deforms or changes its shape and size under the under some amount of force maybe the force is bigger or very big so that's how it's going to be in our mechanics we are talking about deformable bodies but we're just gonna say the rigid bodies we have a few laws or a few theorems or principles that are used to find out the relations between the the bodies and and the effect of the force and stuff like that so the first one is the parallelogram 
law of addition of forces. So this law is simply a parallelogram law of vector addition. I, I believe you know this law since you're at bachelor's in engineering. The next law is going to be Newton's first law. The third law is going to be Newton's third law. And fourth one is going to be Newton's second law. So I should have written second, first, and third. Okay, it does not really matter. The fifth one is a Newton's law of gravitation. Newton's law of gravitation. And the sixth one, sixth one is principle of transmissibility. So it's simply, now I'm going to explain this one because I believe you do not know about this one and you know or you should know about these uh, theorems or these principles. Now, if there is a body and there is a force acting on this body in this line of action of force. So a line of action is simply a line that goes through the force, the line of force. So that's the line of action of force. Now, if the body is getting force from this direction at this point, okay, particular this point, and if I remove this force and use a force of same amount right here, and pull it in this direction okay the force is going to act in the same direction it's just we are changing the position where the force acts then there is going to be the same effect of the force so whatever the body is you just change the position of the force do not change the line where the force is acting do not change the direction just change the position it's still going to show the same effect on the body that's the principle of transmissibility and it's pretty much simple now in next video we are going to talk about statics and aesthetic equilibrium so we are going to need the third law for that uh, uh, concept of aesthetics and we are going to need the parallelogram law of additional forces and we are going to need the principle of transmissibility so these three laws are going to be very important for the study of body or for the study of statics make a good revision of those three laws and watch next video so you can have a good overview of aesthetics so that's all pretty much in this video and this video covered the first lesson or the lesson one of of applied mechanics so if you go through the curriculum or course structure of applied mechanics for bachelors in engineering so this is everything you need to know in lesson one of applied mechanics. That's all in this video and thanks for watching.